Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Central Bank of India Limited Q2 FY25 earnings conference call hosted by Antique Stock Broken Limited. As a reminder, all participants line will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask a question after the presentation concludes. Should you need any assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Raju Barnawal from Antique Stock Broken Limited. Thank you and over to you sir. Thank you and good afternoon everyone and thank you for joining post result conference call of Central Bank of India. From the senior management side today we have with us uh, Sri M. V. Rao, MD and CEO, Sri Vivek Vahi, Executive Director. Shri M. B. Murli Krishna, sir, Executive Director, Shri Mahendra Dohare, Executive Director, and Mr. Mukul Randige, Chief Financial Officer. Now, without any further delay, I hand over the call to M. D. sir for his opening remarks, post which we will open the floor for the Q&A. Thank you and over to you, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, very good afternoon to all the participants. Uh, before sharing the uh, financials of this quarter. Uh, let me share the good news that uh, bank has received the CCI approval to acquire 25.18% uh, of equity shares in the life insurance uh, division of Future Generalia and 24.91% in the non-life. Uh, once this process completes, then bank will be having two additional JVs uh, along with the existing two JVs which we have for the home finance and uh, uh, financials. So now just I would like to give the highlights of the to this uh, September quarter's uh, financials and then it is followed by our CFO will be giving a detailed uh, uh, presentation. Uh, I think by this time you must have received our presentation which is already uploaded onto the website. Now this uh, our bank's total business which has grown 7.07%. Now it stands at 6.44 lakh crore. And then total deposits at 3.91 lakh crores, where CASA stands at 1.91 lakh crores, which is 48.93% of the total deposits. And the gross advances grew by 9.48%, uh, which stands at 2.52 lakh crore. And the CD ratio, that is credit deposit ratio, improved to 64.71. Earlier in the previous September of 23, uh, it was uh, uh, 62.5 around. Now gross NPA, it stands at 4.59 and net NPA at 0.69. Provision coverage ratio, which is 96.31 and net profit has grown by 50.91%, it stands at 913 crore. And uh, let me share with you, this is the 14th straight quarter which bank is recording the net profit. And net interest income has increased to 3,410 crores. And then net interest margin, it stands at 3.44 for this September 30th. Return on assets is improved to 0.85%. Return on equity improved to 3.19%. CRAR, that is capital adequacy ratio, now it stands at 16.27, where tire 1 is 14.01. So there is an appreciable uh, increase and a good set of numbers as far as the financials are concerned. For all the further details, our CFO will be explaining. Yeah, Mukul. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, uh, as Sir has said, net profit wise, last year, three quarters, whatever the net profit we had earned, we have been able to surpass uh, that figure in the first two quarters, that is the first H1 of uh, this financial year. Uh, we have recorded 1,793 crores of net profit during the H1 as uh, compared to 1,741 crores of uh, net profit for the three quarters up to Q3 during the last financial year. 
the standalone headline numbers if we come if we compare the yield on advances has increased by 22 bips on yoy and it is now at 8.84% yield on investment has improved to 6.93% uh, an increase of 38 bips the cost of deposit has increased only by 11 bips and it is now at 4.71% uh, we continue to hold on to our share of casa deposits uh, it is still in, in excess of 48% the nim increased to 3.44% the roe on an annualized basis is 12.76 the credit cost we have been able to bring it down now to 0.56 with the net npa coming down to 0.69 during this uh, quarter the slippage ratio also has been controlled and now the slippage ratio is for, is at 0.38% for this quarter the liquidity coverage ratio is at 214.19%. So it is a very comfortable liquidity still bank is enjoying. And the NSFR is at 146.69. The EPS is at 1.05 and the ROA has improved to 0.85. So we are on our track to make it at 1%. Uh, if we see the total interest income has registered a YOI growth of 11.58% to 8,202 crores. The total interest expenses have increased by 10.85% to 4,792 crores. The net interest income has increased by 12.62% and it is now at 3,410 crores. The total income has shown a growth of 17.08% and it stands at 9,849 crores. The total expenditure on the other side has increased by 11.65% to 7,684 crores. And therefore, the operating profit has improved by a, a handsome amount of 41.50% to 2,165 crores. Uh, the provisions are at 1,252 crores. And the net profit has shown an improvement of 50.91% and it stands at 913 crores. If we come to the breakup of interest income, the interest on advances has shown a uh, growth by 14.18% and it stands at 5,402 crores. The interest on investments has also grown by 9.13% and it is at 2,547 crores now. Uh, there is a degrowth in other income which was uh, the interest income that we received on the income tax refund by around 210 crores. The non-interest income, which majorly comprises of recovery in write-off and other fee-based income, there also uh, there is an imp uh, a very uh, sizable improvement. And on a YOY basis, there is a growth of 55.23%. And on QOQ basis also, there is a growth of 41.37%. And the total non-interest income now stands at 1,647 crores, with recovery in write-off comprising 560 crores out of this. The breakup of total expenses is that interest expenses have in improved by 10.85% uh, and uh, the total interest expenses were at 4,792 crores, out of which interest paid on deposit is 4,530 crores, uh, growth of 8.43% and other interest was at 262 crores. Uh, the staff cost was 1,827 crores, a growth of 27.14% and other operating expenses showed a degrowth of 5.08% and stood at 1065 crores. As far as the provisions are concerned, the provisions for NPA were at 340 crores, 82% uh, less than the uh, last uh, year, same, same period. The standard asset to be made a provision of 70 crores. The income tax provisions were at 654 crores. On a prudence basis, the bank has made 250 crores additional provision on standard restructured accounts and therefore the total provisions were at 1,252 crores and the net profit was at 913 crores. The asset quality, as MD Sir has said, the gross NPA is at 4.59% and the net NPA we have been able to bring it down to 0.69%. In absolute number terms, the net NPA is at 1,674 crores. The sector-wise NPA, if we see, uh, retail is at only 
agriculture and allied is at 1.62 msme at 1.34% and corporate net npa is 0.15% only uh, our provision coverage ratio was at 96.31% the slippage ratio as i told is now at 0.3038% and the credit cost is at 0.56% the restructured book is at 5808 crores however 1571 crores worth of accounts are common in the restructured book also and they are uh, appearing in the special mention accounts also as far as the sma position is concerned the percentage of uh, special mention accounts to total advances has come down uh, on a yoy basis from 6.69 to 6.10% and the amount is 15425 out of which the amount under sma2 is only 3014 crores and sma1 is at 1957 crores the capital ratios the crar stands at 16.27% with tier 1 uh, ct at 14.01 the leverage is at 5.88% the business cover business across the board total business Uh, improved by 7.07% and it now it stands at 644858 crores the total deposits grew at 5.57% casa deposits grew at 4.61% and now they stand at 191270 crores the casa share continues to be at 48.93% which is one of the best in the industry the ram advances grew at 19.95% and stand at 182205 crores the uh, cd ratio improved to 64.71 now within ram also if we see the retail grew at 15.48% and it stands at 76373 crores the agriculture showed a growth of 17.34% and it is at 50280 crores and msme has shown a robust growth of 29.45% and it stands at 55552 crores the risk weighted assets still one of the lowest in the industry at 167998 uh, there is a degrowth in the corporate uh, loan book but that was a conscious decision that the bank uh, took uh, the corporate uh, book has uh, degrown uh, by 10.61% and it, it stands at 70739 crores as far as the retail segment breakup is concerned retail constitutes 30.19% of total advances and within that housing loan constitutes 63.06% and it has shown a growth of 18.51% on yoy education loan has shown a growth of 28.95% the auto loan has shown a growth of 15.18% and personal loan at 10.35% the rated standard advances continue to attract our attention and uh, the total triple a double a, a and a book and triple b book cons uh, constitutes 63365 crores the sanctions and uh, uh, outstanding and co lending are very robust we have been able to achieve all the mandated targets under the priority sector investment book continues to give us very very good profit and the yield has improved to 6.93% and if we take the uh, trading profit also then the yield has topped 7.76% now so these were the basic highlights of the performance for the uh, q2 now with the permission of md sir we will uh, yeah we can open it for uh, q and a okay sir thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and two participants are requested to use a handset while asking a question ladies and gentlemen we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles So we 
have the first question from the line of Mr. Ashok Ajmera from Agecon Global. Please go ahead, sir. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, uh, compliments to Rao Sahib and the entire team of the Central Bank of India for yet another very good quarter of good set of numbers. Uh, one of the, I think, the highest uh, uh, profitability in the recent time. And consecutive profitability for last, I think, uh, 14, 15, 14 quarters or so. Uh, having said that, uh, uh, I got a few observations and some uh, concerns which needs to be addressed. So, sir, my uh, first is on the uh, on the advances growth, the credit growth. So, I think there uh, the growth is absolutely muted as against. Uh, 251,000 crore in the March, now it is 252,000 crore if you take the entire six months as on today. Uh, and I mean, the similar story in the net uh, credit also. So, credit wise, there is hardly any growth. So, first is that how do we plan to achieve our targeted uh, uh, credit growth in the financial year now 2025 uh, based on the sanction pipeline and the uh, projects and applications are under sanction and processes and what is your target for that and how do we uh, plan to achieve the same? Uh, so that is on uh, my first question on the credit growth, the business growth. Good, good. Yeah, thank you, thank you Ajmer uh, Really you have asked the very pertinent question. Uh, as far as this the credit growth is concerned, if you see the growth in our RAM portfolio which is very, very robust, and whatever that dip that has come is on the corporate loan book. This is very conscious decision because uh, when we experiencing uh, the rate of interest, uh, you know, from the corporate side, what they are uh, demanding, and we do not want to sacrifice the NIM. So, vis-a-vis the uh, where without any credit cost. Uh, from my investment side, I am getting much more than what this uh, corporate credit borrowers uh, were uh, asking uh, rate of interest. So that was a conscious decision taken by the bank. That's why there is a dip of almost 7,000 crores in the corporate loan book. Always it was a very short term, but uh, none, uh, nonetheless, uh, we, we were not uh, interested to take up at a low cost. So it is only to protect the NIM of the bank that we took this decision not to increase the corporate loan uh, book, uh, that's why there is a dip of 7,000. Okay, sir. No, sir. So, uh, now my name is going forward on the entire, entire FI25 uh, financial year. Uh, where do we get, uh, see the credit growth uh, in percentage terms vis-a-vis -vis the uh, March uh, 24? See, we are conscious of the bottom line now. Protecting the bottom line, uh, the, the way uh, we are intended to grow, that depends upon the market opportunities as well as the uh, you know rating of the accounts where we can trade off between the uh, credit risk weights and uh, rating of the accounts with the rate of interest. So, uh, what uh, what the projection we would like to make now is bottom line will be protected and then we will be eyeing for the enhancing the bottom line rather than uh, you know eyeing for the top line so no 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 growth target sir uh, 10% 12% 15% hey, we have a growth target already that uh, for a year we have given 12 uh, is the floor and 14 is the upper limit for the credit growth uh, so you are maintaining uh, the same uh, that yeah. we will continue to maintain depending upon the opportunities we will be there but at the same time yeah, just to increase the credit growth to, to reach the percentages, we are not going to sacrifice the bottom line. Sir, point well taken, sir. Sir, my second question was on the standard restructured account, sir. We have seen that the provision of 229 crore has been made. <clears throat> so, uh, as I understand, our total standard restructured book is around 5,800 uh, crore something, which includes COVID standard restructured also. So, what is the total overall provision we are holding, sir, on the uh, total standard restructured book? COVID? Uh, see, these these uh, categories comprise three. 
one is uh, the uh, restructuring done in terms of the rbi earlier circular of 2017 18 19 so yes. there uh, the provision held is 5% then okay. under the uh, covid uh, th this one there were two sets uh, 10% and the accounts which had uh, already slipped uh, before the restructuring was undertaken there the provision was to be maintained so we have 15% uh, provision in, in those accounts so put together roughly 5808 we can uh, safely say that it, it would be around 11 to 12% provision that we are holding now on a prudence basis we have made 250 crores additional provision uh, this these accounts will be also ECL compliant. I mean, where we need to put in yes. additional provision as per ECL. So altogether, is a, we, we 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 are we are holding about 800 and uh, 850 to 900 crores, isn't it, sir? Yes. Including this 229 crores. Yes. 250. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, 250 uh, crores, uh, sir. But, uh, there is a very good uh, uh, income uh, from the treasury operations in this quarter which has been booked and, and a very smart recovery uh, from the uh, return of account also i think 560 crore so sir going forward uh, can we can we take this as a number for the remaining six uh, months also a good set of numbers so that to judge the future profitability for the whole of this 2025 do we have some something more in the pipeline from the return of account to recover? Uh, Ajmera ji, regarding treasury, uh, uh, we are very much hopeful that uh, in this uh, decreasing rate scenario, uh, uh, of course, our regulator is yet to put cut rates, but we are very hopeful. It is almost priced in, but still we are hopeful that till March there will be around two rate cuts expected. So we are hopeful that same scenario should continue and treasury should uh, uh, should give us a good uh, yield. Uh, as MD sir has rightly said that uh, that type of yield we were not getting in even in our uh, 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 public sector, <laughs> government public sector advances. Uh, yeah. So that is there and in write-off advance, write-off accounts, uh, our colleague Mr. Zohere will, uh, ED colleague Mr. Zohere will show some light. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, Dohare, sir. Yeah. Of account also, we expect the similar numbers in the, I mean, rest of the financial year because there are uh, few accounts are there and uh, which are in the pipeline and we are very hopeful to get the uh, good recoveries in these accounts. Sir, uh, uh, there was a very good news uh, which we read and you also announced is that our stake taking a sizable stake in future generally uh, both in the life and general uh, so uh, going forward sir uh, uh, i mean what kind of uh, capital infusion uh, uh, number one is the acquisition cost and secondly uh, how optimistic we are about this investment uh, going forward in future sir? See, as far as the acquisition is concerned, it is the open bidding process which has happened in the NCLT and uh, we, we would be able to get for 508 crores. That is our acquisition. And then yes. uh, going forward, you know very well the bank assurance uh, contributions uh, to our uh, p and Only with the distribution channels, what we have, uh, it is almost uh, covering 120 crores. 120 crores. Okay. So that is the uh, kitty that is already there. And going forward, uh, we see a lot of synergies here. Let, 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 let us wait and watch for the next move. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure. Sir, one small uh, data point on the miscellaneous income in this quarter has rapidly grown to 137 crores. So is there any component of 70, 80 crore, 60, 70 crore coming from somewhere in the miscellaneous income in this quarter? Uh, one second. You know, from generally 50 crore, 55, 60 crore, it has gone up to 137 crore. Uh, no, there is no IT refund. IT refund. Yeah, is it? Uh, mm -hmm. See, uh, total, total my uh, other income is uh, 1647 crore. Out of that, commission brokerage is 119 crores. 
uh, on which LCBG DD commission is 49 crore, government business is 26, bank assurance is 44, service charges is 379, uh, other other miscellaneous. Okay, this you are saying. One second. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Below, below the service uh, charges. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a good sizable uh, uh, amount uh, you get to straight to the bottom line and yeah, once uh, we find it, we'll uh, share with you the details. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no problem, sir. No problem. I'll, I'll take it later. There is no issue. Thank you very much, sir. In this round, and if time permits, I'll come back again. Sir. Thank okay. you, and all the best. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may press star and one to ask a question. We now have the next question from the line of Mr. Sushil Choksi from Indus Equity Advisor. Please go ahead, sir. Congratulations to Team Central Bank for excellent performance and a good direction. Sir, where a CD ratio is concerned, I think have a great advantage in the current banking system led by our CASA and many of the opportunities. So where do you see next six months we will end up? See, our guidance is to reach 70%. That uh, definitely we, our endeavor is to reach 70 And we are quite confident uh, by this uh, financial year ending, we will reach at 70 So what would be uh, unavailed uh, limits and what is in pipeline visibly from uh, this quarter pipeline perspective? Pipeline is uh, two views, almost uh, 12,800 crores is in the pipeline. Uh, okay. That is there. Uh, but all these, uh, many of them are the term loans where, you know, disbursement happens uh, in uh, in uh, stages. And uh, entire 12,800 cannot be drawn by March 25. So, as far as uh, reaching the 70% of CD ratio, we are confident, no issue. Are you seeing any green shoots from private sector or at least mainly public sector? Uh, yeah, that is a trade of what we are always doing with the, you know, rating of the account and then uh, rate of interest. Uh, okay. So, we are trading off there. Yeah. So, uh, the low yielding ones you are not taking up, but the high yielding ones what you are taking up, that's what is my assumption. No, no, uh, optimization is happening. It is not that uh, if someone offers a 9.5 and, uh, you know, we will be very happy to take uh, uh, AA or uh, rated uh, this one at 8. So, what? so Sir, what we, my, we will uh, see how it comes out, you know. We no, no, what out. I meant is you are conscious of quality and the sector what you are choosing with the exactly. right mix. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So you are being prudent on the subject of lending that I understand. Sir, now the best news which we got in terms of our acquisition of future generally insurance yeah. and I know that you are being conservative in speaking uh, besides the COC award to at what rate and things like that and what revenue you are able to generate. Sir, can you throw some light on a picture, how the synergies between both will work, how will the bank benefit and your investment will fructify a multifold over a period of time? No, I, I, I do not want to tell all those things, just I would like to give a, a small uh, insights uh, in, uh, into this uh, particular business because where we see a lot of synergy, see uh, we have, though we have the 8 crore borrower profile, uh, about 8 crore customer profiles, so almost 5.6 uh, crore is the active customers we have. When we are analyzing this, uh, uh, you know, uh, insurance, uh, it is only penetration is 0.61. Just you can imagine, uh, you know, what is the cake that is available from my own customer, active customer profile. So they, just I am leaving at that point. And uh, regarding uh, the asset insurance, which is uh, well, primarily driven by our uh, uh, asset portfolio and then new disbursements and new customers, what we, uh, we acquire, uh, from our analysis, we see that though there is no focus, 
uh, it is only a 20 to 25 percent of the assets are getting insured through the banker channels another 75 percent is being done by the other channels so just i am giving the insights of the uh, facts which are existing on my record just you can uh, extrapolate or think what is going to happen in future once we have this arrangement in place will be an existing customer of future generally in some uh, manufacturing related activities my experience about the company is excellent yeah will the system between our and and future generally where this cross sell and would be integrated technologically or only this referral work will work see these are two separate things one is right now i am an investor once that acquisition happens it becomes a jv that is one part second is as per the regulatory guidelines distribution channels which are available to all the partners with whom we have the banker assurance tie up that will continue but at the end of the day the services provided by these entities to the customers if customers are happy and then the way these people continue to service the needs the insurance needs of the customers normally uh, wherever best service is available they will move to that uh, channel uh, that's why these are all two distinct uh, areas uh, i do not want to mix up this my uh, my experience on the digital side has been excellent that's the reason i just sort of feedback yeah so yeah we have the digital channels that is uh, from day one it will be a totally digital uh, integration that will be there uh, how how are we going to rebrand this and how soon that would be visible because that can be a big win yeah, yeah, for there, there, there is a still uh, we, we are discussing all the aspects uh, uh, regarding this branding and all the things so let us see it, it takes little more time for, for us to publicly declare what will be the shape. no no, no i am not asking anything basically whether it will take shape in the current year by march 25 or not that's what i was asking it should be before uh, march only it has to happen okay second thing sir uh, on the casa which is a very sustainable success story of central bank of india maybe one or two other cases are comparable not much the efforts have been excellent from the team which is working on it whether it's rural tier 2 tier 3 where our base is we have migrated on many technology platforms and we are doing lot of digital initiatives has those results started fructifying or the early visibility only and that would add to our kitty in a long term basis no all, uh, already some, uh, some of the products are rolled out where uh, we are uh, seeing the traction in that and um, many more products that are slated for the next 2 to 3 months it is a continuous process where we will be shifting many of these products on to this new technology platform where lot of uh, uh, you know uh, optimization happens from the cost and also efficiency parameters uh, coming to your point of casa and all those things uh, uh, let me share with you we made uh, some uh, experimentation with the bc max uh, because everyone knows in the industry there is a one concept called a banking correspondent and another is your physical uh, brick and mortar branches we we brought a hybrid in between and we have rolled out the pilot and it is very successful and then going forward uh, this will be the model where we will be uh, reaching out uh, uh, in areas where our presence uh, is not there and then uh, business is also happening well in those areas where we will be moving with the bc max centers it is only a, a totally a technology based solution how many such touch points will we roll out sir we have identified almost uh, 520 pin codes where cagr of banking business is more than 15% and our presence is not there so as a pilot we have uh, we are rolling out 25 and then uh, based on the this one again we will be expanding uh, in all the pin codes where this business is there and uh, my branch is not uh, available okay so this would bring lot of additional benefits yeah. to the bank from all perspective so yeah. do all the exercises what we are doing or what we have planned for last 12 months on digital initiative 
how much capex we would have done so far and what is left that will still continue on an ongoing process and what is one time see it is ongoing this year our budget was around 800 crores uh, and then uh, uh, it's all milestone based payments that happen uh, you know so that's why i cannot pinpointedly say this is the amount what we have spent but budgeted is 800 and as per the milestones the, our uh, partners are achieving that payments will get released okay sir my next question to mr y what is his indicative guidance on the treasury yields for the year end sir uh, this calendar year uh, 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 we are not expecting now further much fall already touched 672 so maybe four or five basis points here and there for this quarter but uh, definitely uh, uh, for March quarter, we are seeing another uh, at least 15 basis point fall. So overall, it should not be more than 25 basis point fall up to March. This is our uh, in-house uh, view on the tenure. Uh, we had, a, let us hope the scenario continues and uh, uh, tragedies, uh, uh, good time for tragedies have uh, again come. It is a cyclical thing you all know. So let us hope for the best. Sir, in view of your treasury outlook, uh, do we, not only for our bank, we were not in the rat race for CD ratio in terms of uh, deposit mobilization at any cost. We have been very comfortable. What is our strategy on growth of where deposits are concerned in next six months? See, deposit growth, uh, What? Uh, see, one thing you, you rightly observed, uh, as far as our bank is concerned, I think uh, only bank which is not in the certificate of deposit market, we, we never uh, were there in that uh, CD. And we are very conscious and then we are, uh, uh, principally we are on the, uh, you know, belief that uh, CD should not fund our growth. And having a, uh, you know, CD ratio of 65, we have a lot of liquidity, and then we have a CRAR above 16, and we have enough growth capital and also liquidity. Uh, going forward, our uh, focus more will be to acquire the new customers on the, uh, you know, CASA side, uh, and then uh, offer uh, differentiated products to the uh, existing uh, customers. Sir, uh, as we have not been in deposit raise, repricing might be hurting a lot of banks. Uh, do I assume that we are comfortable with repricing of deposits and the sustainability is concerned with cost yeah, of we, we always factor that part, you know, because my 49 point uh, is already under CASA uh, and then taking the current uh, deposits, uh, the, my repricing uh, portfolio which is exposed to the repricing portfolio is 50%. Uh, Within a year, it will be around uh, 24 to 25%. That uh, always we factor in. Uh, whatever the increase in deposit rate we make is only to protect our uh, own turf in the deposit portfolio so that my customer need not go to other banks for want of higher rate of interest in term deposits. So that's the strategy we follow and uh, we are successful in that. Do, do you think that with the treasury outlook and the global money market, Indian rates have been in terms of cost of funds today, bank to bank MCLR might be rising, but more or less in the current financial year, the rates have peaked from uh, MCLR point of view? But uh, in normal, uh, this one you can say it is peaked, but if you see the certificate of deposit market, uh, it is almost... Uh, you know, public sector uh, itself, 2.76 lakh crore is there in the city. Even if they want to shift it on to the, uh, you know, customer deposits, uh, from CD to customer deposits, uh, I, I do not know to what extent, but there is a probability that the rate of increase in the deposits may not be the same way which was happening for the past six to eight months. Sir, can you repeat the number of CD uh, amount? It is the uh, total uh, public sector uh, banks which have raised is 2.76 lakh. Another system, sir? Total system, uh, 5.36 lakh. 
recovery Uh, something brewing from return of account, something which would aid our profit for the second half in terms of uh, some new efforts or some new initiative on business, digital, whatever it may be. That something new which will uh, stand out for us in the next six months. That's yeah, what I meant. Yeah, I will share you in uh, January call whatever that okay. we have done new and what was the result. Thank you, sir, and I'll come back in the queue yeah, again. Thank, thank you. you All the best and best wishes for the. Thank day. you. there was a question from ajmera ji he wanted to know about the details so this 90 crores uh, out of that 137 crore is the penal charges because till 31st of march uh, it was penal interest now it is penal charges so we have segregated this so that is why this uh, mr rbi bank uh, yes this is uh, miscellaneous income uh, is appearing higher thank you sir Ladies and gentlemen, you may press star and want to ask a question. We have the next question from Ashleesh Sonje from Kotak Securities. So you may proceed. Hi team, good afternoon. Uh, sir, just a couple of questions. Firstly, if I look at your SMA two book above five crore rupees, uh, that has increased quarter on quarter from uh, rupees six crore to rupees three sixty crores. Uh, can you share more details about this uh, this increase? Just a minute. What is this? A, 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 a SMA zero. What you are saying? SMA two. SMA two. SMA two. Above five crores. It was one seventy four right now. Then it is 368. Eighty-eight. Uh, it was there uh, for September 23, which has gone up to 117 in uh, June 24, and September 24 it is 174. The major top top five accounts are uh, this. Uh, <coughs> see, uh, I'll give you the details of top uh, five accounts. Top five accounts uh, constitute now. Uh, 180 plus. So if you look, just look at the QOQ movement of the SMA two book above five crore rupees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm talking about SMA one. I'm sorry. Uh, it used it was six crores earlier. It's gone to three uh, sixty crores. SMA one. SMA one. SMA one. Okay. SMA one also. If we if uh, the top five accounts constitute now 325 crores. However, uh, out of that one account already regularized. other accounts are uh, continuing in sma1 and we do not foresee any of them uh, slipping so you are saying out of the 360 crores 325 crores is from just one account and that is now 5 crores is out of is of the top 5 uh, accounts out of that one account is already standard worth 10 crores one big uh, account is there but that also is uh, i mean Uh, okay we we do not foresee any issue in that account also okay is this a telecom related account the big one no okay um and that that has become current again the big account so it's continuous in sma1 only okay okay perfect and secondly uh, you have made an additional prudent provision on standard restructured accounts you said roughly 260 crore rupees Uh, but your standard restructured book overall has only declined qq see uh, now now what has happened is uh, we we were to bring our net np in line with the industry that we have been able to do successfully now our hmm. net np has come down to 0.69 
so now we have shifted our attention from the ecl perspective if and when it comes so we we should be well prepared so with that perspective already the uh, standard restructured book we are uh, having around roughly around 10 to 11 percent uh, built up so we want to uh, build based on the pd and other things uh, we, we want to proactively build provision in that book also understood so there is no specific that. exposure for which you have made this provision no 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 right. no, no, no it is it is on this entire standard restructured book understood sir just one last data keeping question can you give a break up of your slippages across segments that 766 crore yes. of fresh slippage yes So uh, under AGRI, the slippages were 187 crores. Under uh, corporate, uh, it was 164 crores. Under MSME, it was 270 crores. And under retail, it was 145 crores. And uh, including the increase in balance of the existing NPA, if we want to speak, then 233 crores in AGRI, corporate 183, MSME 330, and retail 168. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wish to ask a question, you may press star and one. Uh, I think if uh, anyone is not there, uh, we can uh, uh, conclude our session. Okay, sir. Yeah. As there are no further questions, I would like to now hand the conference over to management for, for closing comments. So, uh, on behalf of uh, the entire top management of Central Bank of India, I would like to extend uh, uh, thanks to all the analysts for uh, sparing their time and uh, interacting with us. We'll continue to, uh, to post uh, good numbers with our uh, endeavors and we'll continue to excel. Thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of Antique Stock Broken Limited, this concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us and now you may disconnect your lines.